Roger. Good morning. Okay. Fuck. I woke up at 5.30 in the morning today. Why? Why? I used to like, there was like a year or even more where I would text people every single day um, and be like, it's a good day to have a good day. And I would say that every single day to the people that I love, to the people in my life. And they didn't appreciate that. They were just like, Tara, shut the fuck up every day. And I would just be like, oh, silly. Not with that fucking attitude. Like, <laughs> I was one of those fucking like positive, positive, positivity. <laughs> um, I was one of those positivity butterflies. That's the word I was looking for. No one fucks with positivity butterflies. They're like, shut the fuck up, bitch. I showed this on TikTok, but I'm literally, I moved the other day to a new apartment. I'm still in the process of obviously unpacking and getting all my, fuck that, whatever. But I organized all of my skincare and it's giving department store. <laughs> um, but I love it. Look how fucking beautiful this is. I got these products in the mail yesterday. I want to try them. This isn't sponsored. <laughs> this isn't fun there. It's not. I just want to try these products. They're called... They're pretty. Oh, hi. They're pretty. <laughs> They're called Yours Skincare. Yours? Okay. Ooh. Wait, what? Oh my god. I've never used a cleanser that was like foamy like the. What does toner do? I've always refrained from using toners because I don't know what they do. I don't know what that means. Could have easily done research in that amount of time. Or I could just ask the imaginary person standing in my bathroom, what does toner do? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like really tired right now. Bounce back balancing toner. Okay. Before we continue with this video, I just want to say thank you so much to SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video. This is a dream come true of mine to be sponsored by SeatGeek. I am in love with SeatGeek. I have literally been using SeatGeek since I was like 12. <laughs> Every single concert I have ever been to, I use SeatGeek. Every single concert I've ever been to. So this is very exciting for me. And summer concerts are here and SeatGeek has all the tickets. SeatGeek is like a ticketing app and website that makes getting tickets for events super easy and simple. I have the app on my phone and it is by far the best way to get tickets. They're always available, no matter what it is. It could be sold out on every single other platform. It is available on SeatGeek. SeatGeek like definitely thinks I'm like literally crazy because I have literally bought like 20 tickets to Machine Gun Kelly on SeatGeek in the past maybe eight months, <laughs> including the other day. There are so many people on tour right now. There's so many events happening. I wouldn't want to miss out on it if I were you. Like literally, I'm talking Harry Styles. I'm talking Morgan Wallen, MGK. <laughs> With Avril Lavigne, like are you kidding me? Post Malone, Jack Harlow, The Weeknd. Everyone is on tour right now. It is actually insane and SeatGeek is the place to get your tickets. It's also cool because when you're on the app and you're like looking at a seat map, like trying to buy tickets or whatever, the green dots mean that the ticket is a good deal and then the red dots mean the ticket is a bad deal. So it like helps you save money. I also have a little hookup for you guys. If you use code Tara, you'll get $20 off your first purchase. That is $20 off of your first purchase with code Tara on Seeky. All you have to do is click the link in my description so that you can go download the app and then just use my promo code Tara for $20 off your first purchase. This is literally a dream come true. I. I said this a million times already, but I love you guys at SeatGeek so much, and I am so happy to be sponsored by you guys. Um, everyone go check out SeatGeek, use my promo code. Thank you, SeatGeek, for sponsoring today's video. On with the day. That was cringy. I just literally switched t-shirts because I feel like I wear that other t-shirt every time I film a YouTube video, and this is my new IT shirt. I wear this shirt every fucking day, so I got it in the mail. I've been wearing this for like four days straight. <laughs> it says City of Angels, and I just love the way it like fits. Like I love the way it like slides off my shoulder. It's from Coney Island Picnic. Love them. 
Lay off. One of the skills that I've acquired recently is the art of waking up and creeping into the kitchen to make a coffee without waking up my bird so that I can have a few moments of peace with my latte. But today, he was already screaming when I opened my eyes. So that's out of the question. Also, I'm filming, so I will be talking. Um, so I can't sneak around the bird and all of his baggage. Yeah. <laughs> I was a mom too young. Anyways. Good morning, my little man. You too, my dear. Oh God. I said you fucked the bird all night long and you stuck you in the cage and we didn't talk for like seven hours. It's fucked up. It's so fucked up. I'm making a latte out of my beautiful espresso machine. <sighs> I use this fancy mouse espresso blend from Chamberlain Coffee. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I have to pick up a little bit right now, like my apartment, because sometimes at nighttime when I'm stony baloney, which I absolutely was last night, I ripped through a joint and wait a lot. I leave the house a mess when I'm going to sleep sometimes when I'm high because I don't feel like it. Um, so I need to like clean up my fucking mess. I have to feed the animals. I have to feed the cats. I have to feed the bird. Um, Maybe put a, f oh yeah, I have to put a few dishes in the dishwasher. There is literally spaghetti on the stove right now. I was so high last night, I literally cooked like rice noodles in a can of soup. That's what I ate for dinner. Um, I have to make my bed. I have to take a few boxes out to the, shut up. No fucking way. Oh my God, you fucked like I literally moved into this new apartment and the freezer like won't make ice and I don't know how to have it make ice. So now I have no ice for my latte. <laughs> Kim, there's people that are dying. Well, I don't have ice for my latte, so that's a big problem right now. But like, what do I do? Like, I thought I had something to do. I have no idea how to make this thing make ice. I just keep forgetting about it and then I keep going to get ice and I'm like fucking mortified. I guess it's a lukewarm latte today. Hi, Marjorie, you found me. Found me, what do you want? All your stuff, okay. You looking at my little, little bird. I literally have to drink this like weird like coffee without ice. I don't know why it's like freaking me out as much as it is, but that just looks off. There's bigger problems in the world, but I don't have ice for my latte and I, let's try it. Mm. Thank you, Marty. It's good, it's just honey, honey bird. Good morning, America. <sighs> Smog. I'd be that bitch recently that walk. I'd be that bitch recently. Oh my god. Um, I'd be going outside taking long, deep breaths. But I don't think this is what people are talking about when they say go outside and breathe in fresh air. Cause I'm ordering fills. Cause like, I'm still gonna finish that coffee inside, but I just don't think I can do that like lukewarm, like tablespoon of, I need something more than that. So I'm gonna order fills. I've been doing like, well I just started yesterday, but I did like a fills review on my TikTok and it was so fun. Cause they have so many like different coffees. So I would be mortified if somebody was listening to me right now. Oh, I forgot it's eight in the morning and we're in LA and nobody's awake. Um, all right, I'm gonna order the, Ooh, this one is, 
ecstatic, oh, ecstatic iced coffee, nuts, toffee, toast. That's like the description word. Sure, sure. So, <laughs> I never post mates coffees because I think it's fucking stupid. Um, but right now I obviously have to because I have nothing else. So, <laughs> after like tax, tip, all that, one coffee on Postmates comes out to seventeen thirty nine. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <clears throat> I have a feeling I'm always gonna think somebody is listening to me in this apartment because, like, my problem in the last apartment was that my bedroom was on full display. Like, everybody could see me. Like, it was like, it was like I was in a public amenity space when I was hanging out in my bedroom, which was like god awful. But here, but there I had no neighbors. So, like, I could go on my balcony. Like, I had no neighbors. Now I have an upstairs neighbor and a downstairs neighbor with balconies, so I always feel like someone's listening to me. Like, I was out here smoking yesterday. <laughs> Somebody cleaned my litter robot and didn't replace the bag underneath where it catches all of the debris. So now there's just shit everywhere. Yeah. I hate Oh, my coffee's on the way. Um. I hate the point of like the move that I'm in right now because like, okay, I spent the first two days or like the first day just like moving all of my belongings from my last apartment to this one and just like getting everything here. And then I spent like two days like, you know, putting things away, like organizing, um, blah, blah, blah. But like, the thing is like, I, <laughs> I hate all my furniture in my old apartment. I hate it. And I wanted to like redecorate and just like make this apartment so me and like, actually take time and put effort into it and get all new furniture and it's gonna be super cute. So I have no fucking furniture and like, it's not, it hasn't come in the mail yet. Like nothing has come in the mail yet except for like one thing. So it's at that point where like, I'm just like waiting on things to come in the mail so that I can like build off of them and stuff. Like, like for example, I wanna go get plants. I wanna decorate my whole living room with like real plants, but I can't do that until I have my couch. Cause then I can like, do, you know what I mean? And like the TVs, like I want to mount the TVs, but I can't mount the TVs until I have the couch so I can like figure out where I want everything. Like, <laughs> so I'm just like waiting on all my shit right now. Um, today, actually, my record player table is supposed to come in the mail. Um, is it Tuesday? Today is Tuesday, July 19th. My record, what is it called? A record, like a spin table? What's, what is that called? Oh, a turntable. Oh no, that's just a record player. I don't know. My table that's gonna hold my record player and all of my vinyls is apparently coming in the middle today. So that's gonna be fun. I can finally organize something. My keyboard come to mama. My keyboard come to mama. I'm going to get my coffee from downstairs because it's here. Jesus, I've been so stuffy. You wanna go? You guys wanna hear something fucked up and weird? I like. There could be people listening to me right now, and I would have no idea. I'm such a spaz, like relax. Um, I'm allergic to weed. I'm not even kidding. Like this started like two years ago and I noticed cause I don't smoke as much as I used to. So every time I smoke now, especially if I like break up weed and then like touch my face, like my eyes, I'm so stuffy. My eyes get so like watery and itchy. Um, and I know it's from that. Like I know for a fact it's from that. And I just think that's so unfortunate. Not like I'm like a huge stoner, but like, I don't know. Like it just sucks. Oh my God. I love this time of morning. My <laughs> mom. I can do whatever I want. I can say whatever I want. Cause nobody is fucking awake. My coffee is here. I'm just like fucking around. Um, oh, hi, I'm outside. Is that you? Okay. Hi. Thank you so much. Have a great day. I just filmed my Phil's review on TikTok. I don't know what to call it. I said Phil's with a friend. Hey guys, it's time for Phil's with a friend. That's so creepy. Um, this is coffee is shitty, but I just filmed the review. I, it's because they didn't give me an option for oat milk when I was ordering it, which is weird. So I just put in like the special instructions. I was like, please use oat milk. But they definitely didn't. This is giving soy milk, which is frightening. That's soy milk. And I hate it. So I had to rate it a 3.5. But you know what? Life's good anyways. I was just thinking to myself the other day. I was like, I'm so like lucky and grateful that like 
I'm a, I'm a, most days, I'm a happy ass bitch. I'm a happy ass bitch. Like I, I be walking around this apartment. Like I be walking around life, smiling, like talking to myself, fucking like singing little songs. Like I don't know. I feel like that's something to be grateful for. That I'm a, that I'm pretty fucking happy. Um, I have to get some work done right now. I haven't worked in. Well, yeah, I haven't worked in like five days. Or no. I haven't worked like in over a week because I was in Turks and Caicos on vacation for Jordy's birthday and then I got back here and immediately started moving. So I've been like filming and stuff, um, but I haven't been like working on brand deals. So I have to film a brand deal for Ripple right now, which I'm so excited for to be honest. Oh my God. Um, I have to edit a brand deal for Cloy, this like claw machine app. Um, I already filmed it, but I have to just like make edits to it, like film some parts differently. My manager sends me like to-do lists when I'm like super non-responsive because I've been like so busy moving so I haven't like res fucking responded to anyone. So she'll send me like to-do lists like, hey girl, this is what you need to do in list of importance. Ooh, I got my waiver. Oh, thank God. Guys, I literally, so if you didn't know, I have an OnlyFans and um, I filmed a video with one of my like fucking boyfriends <laughs> of me sucking his dick for OnlyFans. I've never done anything like that before ever. I've never sucked dick on camera for OnlyFans before, but I did because I was feeling crazy. And um, we posted it together. And then a few days ago, my manager sent me like this, um, this like contract, not contract, this like a uh, waiver. And she was like, hey, you need to have that guy like who whose dick you're sucking, like fill out this, this waiver, making sure that he like agreed to this. So he just sent it back to me so I can finally send that to her. I'm like, if you want to go see me suck dick, you know where the, <laughs> isn't it crazy? Like, I feel like I don't give off. I don't give off an OnlyFans vibe at all. Like if I didn't say that I didn't, like it's giving like Anna Paul. Like if she never said that like she, does OnlyFans, like, you'd never know. Or do I give off that vibe? Do I give off, like, suck dick on the internet vibes? I don't think I do, to be honest. Um, so I think I only have to film those two brand deals and then I just have to respond to offers. I'm working with this brand called Cuddle Clones and they, like, make, they make stuffed animals um, that look exactly like your pet. So I have to send in, like, a photo of, I'm doing Phoebe, I have to send in a photo of her from, like, every angle so that they can, like, accurately make a stuffed animal of her. But their fucking stuffed animals that they make are so realistic to like the person's pet, like it's actually insane. So I'm working with them for my little Phoebe. So I have to send in photos for her. I'm gonna write down, before I like film brand deals, I just write down like some key points about the brand so I don't forget. Um, so I'm gonna do that right now. Also, one more thing. I got a new cover for my love sack. Did you guys notice? <laughs> um, I had this love sack in my old apartment, but I had like a bluish cover for it and I hate, I want everything white. Even though I have many animals and everyone's like, why the fuck would you get white furniture? Like it's gonna get destroyed, I don't care. I want white furniture, that's all I want. So I got a white cover for my love sack and I love it. I got the matching blanket. And um, it's gorgeous, it's wonderful. Who's texting me? My ex-boyfriend. <laughs> you guys would be so disappointed in me. My ex-boyfriend just texted me. What month are you the <laughs> what month are you the most free so I can come see ya? When I tell you he literally texts me every week and tells me that he's gonna come to come see me and he never actually does, I've literally just started sending him actions with like the more than symbol words. And he's just like, well, I'm not made of money. I'm like, well then stop saying that you're gonna come visit me if you're not going to. Actions speak louder than words. Anyways, I need to. Me, me acting like I wasn't about to respond immediately. I'm actually free like next month. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm going to fucking hell. Yeah, what if I FaceTime him right now? Cause I'm like, is he at work? What day is it? Should I FaceTime my ex-boyfriend? And me acting like I don't FaceTime him every single day. I'm so fucking annoying. <laughs> oh, and this fucking lighting. Oh! <laughs> Me like posing for when he answers the phone, I'm like.
I he just called me baby. <laughs> he said I'm at work, baby. I deserve nothing but hell. Hey Siri, flip a coin. Hey. I should have to flip a coin to see what I'm doing first. I literally think this is so off topic, but like I think you know what? I'm not even gonna do that. You guys, something that lives rent fucking free on my For You page is like the documenting my journey of quitting nicotine. Like I see it every single day. So I've been thinking about it. Got my juices flowing. I'm putting on my ripple sweatsuit that I got in the mail to really, um, to really enhance this video. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. <gasps> in my last apartment. What am I gonna do about that? When I'm like talking, I can't focus when Marty is screaming. So in my last apartment, like if I was in my bedroom, it was fine because he was like his cage is in the living room and it was like farther away. I couldn't hear him when I was in my bedroom. Now I can. So when I'm talking to my cat, like I can't fucking focus. Marty! Marty, honey bird. Like I'm actually gonna start having to lock him in the guest bedroom. You hear that? Like you scream your head off, mommy you can't do shit. I can't do anything. I'm just focused on the bird. I just kind of remembered how much I'm paying in rent now. And I got really angry um, and sort of put myself in a bad mood. So I'm gonna eat breakfast to uh, change the mood around a little bit. Well, I don't know if I've talked about this on my YouTube channel yet, but I am a little fucking slut for chia pudding all of a sudden. Like, <laughs> I never used to like, like it, but now I like love it and I make it every morning. Well, I prepare it at nighttime and then it's ready for in the morning, you know what I mean? Oh, I have no spoons. All my spoons are in the dishwasher. Oh my God. I wonder if I have a plastic spoon. All the fucking takeout that I get. Oh my God, I do. I have a plastic spoon. Okay. Um. Hell yeah. Do you guys wanna know what I put on it for toppings? I know you do. One thing about me is like, the way I make it, the way I make something is the best way. I don't give a fuck what anyone else says. I don't care about your preferences. The way that I make chia pudding, acai bowls, salads, that's the best way to do it. So I would listen up if I were you. Chia pudding. I put like two tablespoons of chia seeds and half a cup of oat milk and then a little bit of vanilla extract at nighttime and then I let it sit for like 12 hours. Um, I want to try using coconut milk because I feel like I would like that more, but I was just trying to use up my oat milk. Um, so that's what I used. Then, jelly. This is a must or a jam preserves. Strawberry preserves. Like yay much in your little, your little chia pudding. Peanut butter. I'm using the Trader Joe's organic crunchy salted peanut butter. Lots of peanut butter, like heaping a spoonful of peanut butter. I love this granola. I just tried this for the first time like last month and now it's all I get. I get the Ocean Ranch lemon blueberry granola. I fucking love it. And then um, bee pollen. I got this in the mail and I've had bee pollen before in like acai bowls. Like I've seen it, um, actually I never, I never got it on an acai bowl but I see it like at acai bowl places. Like you can add bee pollen to things. So I put this on top of my chia pudding. Let's go get Marty. I had to lock Marty in the bathroom while I filmed that, while I filmed me um making my chia pudding because he's being so fucking loud today. I know I had to lock, <laughs> I had to lock you in the bathroom because you were being such a bad, bad bird. Yeah, I can't get a moment of fucking peace and quiet, not with the bird. <gasps> Wee. Marty eats my chia pudding with me. He loves chia pudding and chia joe. I would never eat my chia pudding without a bird. Why do I be so fucked up? Mom. This is what she looks like. You can't see that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh my God. You guys, it's so good. I'm gonna go grocery shopping today and I'm gonna get coconut milk and maybe like vanilla, I feel like vanilla protein powder would be so good. And it, you want the first bite? Fuck you, Marty. I'm kidding, you're just so messy, it sucks.
I'm gonna eat this and figure out if I want to be productive today. Hopefully. <laughs> um, I just spiraled a little bit right after I got done talking about how happy I always am. <laughs> Perfect timing. Um, I don't know, I feel like sometimes like if I have, um, I don't know, like when I have like a lot of things to do sometimes, I, it's, <laughs> it's hard for me to like actually do them. Like I will just sit there. I just sat on my beanbag chair and thought about all the things that I have to do and just stared at the wall for like 30 minutes until I wasn't even thinking about the things that I had to do anymore and I was literally just blanking out. And I don't know if that made any sense, but um, sometimes I can just pull myself out of that and I can just be like, Tara, shut the fuck up and just like get your shit done and then move on. But sometimes I'm just like, wow, like thinking about doing anything makes me feel like crying. So I'm just gonna not do that right now because um, I don't want to cry. I have to run some errands. Running errands always makes me feel so good. So great, so I have to run some errands right now. This is, my errand fit is actually quite laughable. I don't know what the fuck I'm wearing. I don't know what the fuck I'm wearing. It makes me feel cozy and safe, this outfit. It's also 90 degrees outside, I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. And I'm wearing Nike ankle socks with Birkins, Birkenstocks. That rhymes. Did that rhyme? I don't know, I feel like I hate my outfit, but Sometimes those are the best ones. You gotta hate yourself a little bit sometimes. What's the fun in not hating yourself? Wait, what? I'm gonna clean the junk and grime out of my car before I actually get into it because it smells like something's rotting in here. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna take all of the, there was a full Celsius in here. Would you look at the treasures that you find when you're cleaning out your vehicle? Well, mm. yesterday is filled with friends with your mom. Phil's coffee. Wow. <laughs> yeah, today's one of those days because I, I just put all the trash from my car into this bag and I can't bring myself to walk over to the trash can to actually dispose of it. So guess where it's going? Right back in my car. Swear to God. Ah! That was fucking loud, oh my God. I need another coffee. My dad just called me and he was like, so is your ice machine not working because you simply did not press the button? I'm like, well, I don't know what button you're talking about. So what'd that have to do with me getting a coffee right now? Oh, the fact that I can't make my own coffee because I have no ice in my ice machine because apparently I'm stupid and I, there's a button somewhere. I don't know what he's talking about, but I have to go get a coffee now before I go to the grocery store. We have to go to Whole Foods. Cause I've been moving, so I haven't been like grocery shopping. I swear I always have an excuse for not grocery shopping. I'm like, well now it's because, but I have to get back to that. Cause I love grocery shopping. It is my favorite thing to do in the entire world. Cooking is my favorite thing to do in the entire world. Meal prepping is my favorite thing to do in the whole entire world. But I haven't been doing that cause I've been moving. So I can't, well I could have, could have done that, but I haven't. So I have to go to coffee and go to Whole Foods now. Hey. Use both hands like she trying to say grace. Hey. Said amen, then I blessed her face. Gave her half my dick, that was all that she could take. Use both hands like she's trying to say grace. Said amen, then I blessed her fa You kidding me? Bars. <sighs> Did anybody else used to be obsessed with G-Eazy? I still think that that album was incredible. That one album, bro. Like, I wasn't like a diehard G-Eazy fan, but... This fucking album, I forget what it's even called. I haven't listened to it in so long, but like this shit is all I would fucking listen to. This fucking album, hold on. These things happen. This fucking album. Was anyone else obsessed with this album? Bars, like it's so good. But I was obsessed with G-Eazy. I just like thought of that for a second. I was just like, wow. I feel like we all were obsessed with G-Eazy or was that just me? Anyways, I'm back at Phil's. I'm back at Phil's. I'm having a snack. I got this cheese from Whole Foods. It's called Misha's Kind Foods. It's fucking bomb. I've had the um, black truffle one. I've never tried this one. This one's jalapeno, oregano, and thyme. Oh, with these almond flour, rosemary, and sea salt crackers. I never buy snacks. I don't really know why. I think it's because I like, 
I love just like eating meals. Like if I'm hungry, I'll just eat like five meals a day. I never like just snack. Like I'll just like keep eating like hefty meals. But I felt a little, I felt a little unhinged today at the grocery store. I was like, you know what? I haven't bought fucking cheese in a while. I also got vegan prosciutto. That's in the trunk. Um, Cause I usually like to like dip this in cheese and then add prosciutto, but I'm too fucking lazy to get that right. Oh, the cracker broke. <laughs> oh my god. At what point do I put this back in the trunk and continue on with my day? Not in time fucking soon. I went into Phil's to get my little coffee. I got, what the fuck did I get? I got the Jacob's Wonder Bar, which I make fun of every single day, but I was in the mood for something light, so I got a little Jacob's Wonder Bar. Then I had to go grocery shopping, like I've mentioned 45 times. I went to Whole Foods. I haven't grocery shopped in, I'm gonna say months because I've been traveling so much, but um, I had to get my little grocery shopping trip done. And then I went tanning. Um, I haven't been tanning. I've been traveling, okay? I haven't had time to fucking do anything. Then I had to go to Target because I wanted to get like a big glass bowl for like cowboy caviar and like pasta salad. Like I don't like have like a big designated bowl for things like that, so I had to get that. Then I went to the art store, um, this new art store I've never been to, to get these paint markers because I am having such a difficult time with like paint and brushes. I will explain that in a minute, but I had got these like paint markers. Um, so hopefully these will be a little bit easier for me to use on because I'm like a painter now. Like, no, it's so funny because like I literally, I have windows right here with like other balconies and there is literally three balconies with hot guys, three. So I just, I'm finding my, myself doing all sorts of things in front of this window. I'm like painting, like looking over, like, oh, don't bother me, I'm, I'm creating. I'm inspired to create today. I'm painting in my living room. I'm like kissing the bird and like slow dancing with the bird like right in front of the fucking window. I've just been sort of hanging out in this corner because there's hot men. I just pointed up. <laughs> but they're all just chilling right there. So I'm just kind of like, I'm like on my balcony, like smoking a joint, like looking into the distance. Like I'm spending way too much time on my balcony, like doing super mysterious things like reading and like not being on my phone, just like looking into the hills, like, <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Anyways, um, what time is it? I feel like I've lived an entire day and it's like 1230. <laughs> um, Carson just called me, Carson from Hustle. And one thing about me is like, I unfortunately cannot turn Hustle down. I can't, there, there's never gonna be a day where they're like, hey, Tara, wanna hang out? And I'm like, no, I'm busy. Like, no matter what I'm doing, I could be getting ready for a date with fucking Michael B. Jordan. I could be, elbow deep in like work, like I could be across the country. If Hustle calls me and says, want to hang out, I'm gonna say, yeah, of course, I'm like so bored right now. I'm so free to hang out. Come over whenever you want. Not my greatest trait, but like I'm stuck with it. So, so I'm gonna hang out with Hustle now. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna come and paint and read. Carson calls me, I'm like, I'm so bored. Come over, like you're not bored. You have things to do. I have work to do that I put off from this morning, but guess what I'm not doing now? Working, reading, painting. Like I'm not doing any of that now. <laughs> you know what I said to the vlog right before I started hanging out with you guys? I said I'm so busy right now, but if Hustle calls me, I'm free. I'm free. I was at the art store. I was about to go to Petco. So busy, I had brand deals to do today. Carson calls me, he's like, hey, what are you doing I'm with Parker and Corey? I was like, I'm fucking bored. Uh, <laughs> what the hell? So, you guys have been ignoring you for like three hours. How long has it been? Three hours? Has it been like three hours That's since fine. I've ignored my my little family right here? Nobody's family because you don't live here. Oh, it's just me. <laughs> and the bird. And the bird. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. We're walking to go get what? We're walking to go get wine and then I'm gonna drunk paint. I'm already a little bit drunk. Oh, I'm so sorry. I... Two hours later. Wait. I'm on love two. I'm on live. Three glasses deep and I'm on live. Where are you, Jordy Burton? Jordy. Ow, you guys hustle ruined me today. 
They didn't even do anything. Yeah, they took every hole. Oh. Were, oh. Wait, I don't know. <laughs> no, they uh, Well, they did. Wait, this lighting's giving. I, oh my god, you guys. That's <laughs> right! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, turn Marty just. What started with I cannot tell Hustle no now turned into me and Jordy being on live for three hours straight. <laughs> three hours straight. <laughs> Eating. What is this? Crackers. Mia. Crackers dipped in cheese. What is that exposure? Oh, you put crackers it on. dipped in cheese wrapped with fake meat. Real meat. Mm. Mm. If I don't say fake meat, I'm gonna go, what's in that cheese in here? Whatever. Oh my god. Do you have a cheese sauce recipe? No. Have you ever laughed in the middle of a hookup? No, but I think he did. <laughs> Um, what do you say? Oh, I didn't really get any gifts. I'm like, Two hours, 37 minutes, 5,000 comments, 64,000 viewers. <laughs> Alrighty, birds, get up the head. Aww. Oh my god. Mighty bird. Mighty bird. One time I came home from Ubatuba, my last shift, and that was in like, the kitchen. Yeah. And I came home from Ubatuba, my last shift, and that was in the kitchen. Yeah. In a cage. Tara said I have a big announcement. I thought it was a couch. It was a seven thousand dollar bird. It's a seven thousand dollar bird. I am so tired, it's unbelievable. I have been awake since <coughs> five in the morning. It is now ten. That's a long ass time, I've been away for a I was, lit. me and Jordan were just on live for three hours. We were just on live for three hours. <sighs> um, thank you for hanging out with me today. Um, I have no idea what we did. I do know. I know I didn't work on my fucking painting. Cause I went out for margaritas with hustle. Um, <laughs> but thanks for hanging out. I love you. I'm gonna do my skincare. I am going to go the. You, B Dave's calling me. I'm gonna answer. I'm putting on my fucking little light that makes me look so cute. Watch me be a fucking little cunt right now. Hi. Hello. You look nice. I do? Yeah. I'm exhausted. You uh, got enough gas in the tank to come suck my knock? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. No, it's when B-Dave calls me. He's like, hey, want to come suck my dick? And I'm like, oh, I would have two hours ago and his friend was in the same room as him. That's that shit I don't like. Wait, what? Um, okay, I'm going to go. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me today. I love you guys so much. I love vlogging. I love life. Um, yeah. I'm going the fuck to bed. I'm so tired. I could possibly pass the fuck away right now. Um, love you to death. Like and subscribe if you want to keep me off the streets. Your girl. Um, follow me on TikTok and Instagram. They're both Tara's World, my OnlyFans. <laughs> is it's Tara's world or Tara's tits? Um, it is free. So you can go um, over there if you want to um, once again keep me off the streets uh, and see my nudes. <sighs> uh, not like you would want to see my nudes now. I just burped in your face. Um, <laughs> good night. I love you. I'm gonna do a forehead, a forehead kiss because I have been honestly. I you know I understand. I love her and I understand, but Emma Chamberlain has not gave a forehead kiss in over a year. Um, and I know she's never going to do one again, but it's fucking me up. And if it's fucking you guys up too, I will give you a half-assed forehead kiss. I know you'd rather have one from Emma, but I'm all you have right now. So. Night. <laughs>